We are here in Mexico City. The weather is beautiful. I found two of the best rooftops. We're gonna go check them out. We're gonna see which one is the best. And if we're lucky, we may even get a third rooftop. So let's go. The first place I went to was Supra and I didn't have a reservation for this place, but I sent them a DM and was like, hey, do I need a reservation? Do y'all take walk-ins? They were so fast in responding. They're like, yeah, girl, come on. We have openings. You can do a walk-in. Make a reservation, y'all. I stood outside for like 20, 25 minutes. There was no organization. We finally just went up to a random guy and we're like, hey, we've been waiting. And he's like, okay, come in. We went to the top of the floor, of course, and were greeted by a host. They told us where to walk, where we met another host. And basically, if you don't have a table here and I don't mean like bottle service the tables here you basically have a tab you can order whatever you want they have food they have of course drinks if you wanted bottle service i'm sure they could do that they play tech house it was an amazing vibe in the main room but if you don't have a reservation you're basically getting walked to the bar now here the bar doesn't look that crowded but guys i'm telling you it filled up quick and it's mainly the workers area so you're constantly in the way or at least that's how i felt we ordered a traditional margarita and an espresso martini i'll tell you the margarita was meh but the espresso tini was actually really really good overall i highly recommend this place if you have a table and you're willing to chill for a little bit the vibes were good on the main floor next up was tolido and i actually had a reservation at tolido so i walked up here with a whole new confidence not like the last spot and let me just make it clear y'all i mean you need a reservation okay but if you're being told like yes we got you don't worry you won't wait then you get there and it's like, oh, we'll be with you in two minutes and you wait 20. It's not the vibe, okay? But here, I didn't have to worry about that, thank goodness. And I will tell you right now, when you go anywhere in Mexico City, you have to go through a few people to get to your table. You see a hostess, you see another person who walks you to the other host that's going to walk you to your table. It's a whole process, but you know what? I appreciate it because that means you're being extra taken care of if you have a reservation. This place was an open floor plan, okay? This is a huge spot. It's great for big groups, but I also saw a lot of one-on-one tables they sat us on this little sofa here that we were sharing with another couple we we're kind of like back to back and we didn't really like the table so we kind of asked if we could change and i'll get to that in a minute but they brought me in the meantime this huge book okay this was the menu they had food drinks they do bottle service there was nine pages of cocktails, y'all. It was insane. Now, when we asked our waitress if we could move, she kind of didn't really know if we could or not. Like, she seemed a little confused. But we ended up stopping another waiter. His name was Daniel. If you go to Toledo, ask for Daniel, y'all. He is amazing. He moved our table. He pulled out cigars. I don't know where. For my husband, he, the service was 10 out of 10. Actually, I'm going to give him an 11. I highly recommend Toledo. Top 40, tech house, good vibes, good drinks. My drinks were the best at this place. The last spot was Olimpo, and this was an actual nightclub, okay? Don't wear a baseball hat if you don't mind taking it off because they had us take off our hats. Basically, they gave me this little sticker with a number on it. She put it on the back of my phone case, so I guess I wouldn't lose it. At the end of the night, you show them the sticker, they give you your hat. It is what it is. It's a dress code. Let's keep moving. Again, it's an actual nightclub, so they they played Bad Bunny, Peso Pluma, Old School Reggaeton, New School Reggaeton. It was amazing when it came to the music, but this is not craft cocktail hour, okay? This is very much vodka soda land, bottle service, things like that. You get the vibe. Now, we stayed till after 5 a.m., but it wasn't crazy packed. The vibe was good, though. I'll tell you that Toledo was my number one favorite. Olimpo gets second and then Supra third. Yes, they had my hat at the end of the night, but the music here wins for me.